Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. That's the look on my face uh, when I realized uh, that I, many people don't understand that remote controls aren't just for televisions anymore. And if you didn't realize it, we've compiled a, a list of things that you can control remotely. The article's linked in the description of this video if it's not embedded on the page itself. Remote controls aren't just for televisions anymore. I'm going to go ahead and plus one it, and I hope you will as well. It looks like uh, we have a few plus ones, including from Jenford T., Alex Piero, Daniel Johnson, Sean Jordan, and Jamie Bausch. Thank you for that, and I'm going to go ahead and add my plus one as well, because, yes, it's a good thing to share and like the things that you want to like or that you do like and want to see more of. So we know we can remotely control a television. Uh, we know we can remotely control a, a game console. Uh, but what about remote controlling other things around the house? Uh, you know, you may not think about it. You've got a smartphone on you, most likely. Uh, you know, it's a, I'm guessing it's a smartphone, whether it's a Windows Phone 7, uh, possibly uh, an Android device or an iPhone. And there's remote control software that will allow you to control things even like your DVR. Not your TV, but the DVR itself. Remotely, like you're not even in the same house, so you don't necessarily have to point the remote at a particular object in order to control it remotely. It's a way to record and schedule programs. And if you have a smartphone, look for the apps that you can use today to control the devices without necessarily having to go out and get another remote control. Uh, so it's beyond just the living room. You can get remote controls to control the things on a computer. Whether you're using Mac OS X, Linux, Windows, it doesn't matter. Stop thinking about a remote control as this one object that can only control one thing. And, well, Chris, they've had remote, uh, you've had universal remote controls for years. Yeah, but you've ever tried to program one of those universal remote controls? It's a universal pain in the ass. So using what you already have in the palm of your hand, a phone, a smartphone, look for apps that can better help you control the things that you already have. Whether it's a desktop computer to be able to play back music or videos remotely, or to control uh, various things that you can do with any one device that's somewhere on your home network. Mendota Tech Notes, you can remote control the alarm system with Android. You can do that with iOS as well. I pay my security company uh, so that I can use an iPhone app to control uh, my security when I'm away from home. In fact, it'll tell me the way I have my house configured when a, a door might be open. And I know right away thanks to the app. We've talked about remote control cameras. In fact, Lorex just announced a, a Skype camera. I've got it like downstairs right now. I haven't had a chance to fully look at it yet. But you set it up and you Skype into it. You can use Skype remotely from your smartphone to control and watch a camera as if you were connected to another person. Uh, I've shown you my thermostats, which are controlled remotely by my phone. The phone is the ultimate universal remote control. If there's not an app for your phone, you either need to beg for those apps to be developed or you need to find a phone that better suits the objects around you. And I don't care who makes the phone, how it works. We just want apps to better control our lives. Why? Because we're control freaks. Take a look at the article.